Hi, my name is Scott Condor, and I'm a graduating senior at Florida State University, majoring in information technology. This video tutorial will discuss comma-separated value files and how to use PHP to output them. This technique is for beginning PHP students and for scientists. I'm a web developer and designer, and recently had to learn this method to output research data. Before we begin, a few words. A comma-separated value file stores information in a list with a comma in between each item. PHP is a scripting language primarily used for dynamic web pages and applications. You can find examples of these on the screen. PHP can be used to read in CSV files and display the data in a proper format with the use of HTML and CSS. A typical CSV file can be created in Microsoft Excel by selecting the CSV option from the Save As menu. A CSV file contains data which can easily be placed into XHTML tables. To demonstrate this, I've opened Microsoft Excel 2007. Once done filling in the cells, simply click the Office button in the upper left hand corner and select the Save As menu option, and then Other Formats. CSV is about halfway down the list in the Save As Type menu. Then you can save the document wherever you'd like. In order to read in or input a CSV file, PHP provides the file function which reads the entire file into the array. Next, we can use the explode function to separate each value into its own element. You can see that dogs and three are separate in the array. Now we are ready for outputting the file. We currently have our CSV data stored in an embedded array. To display the information in a table, use a for each loop to print out each row. I also added a variable that controls the row color using CSS. We'll look at more CSS in a few moments. Cascading style sheets can be used to lay out pages and to style the output. The first block of code here manages the table size. The other two deal with row color, alternating between gray and white, which was previously mentioned. To learn more about CSS, you can visit w3schools.com for tutorials and more examples. Next, I'll show you the PHP, CSS, and CSV files, which contain the code and examples we just went over. First, the PHP code, which includes the for each loops. Next, the CSS file with the table formatting. And finally, here's a brief look at the CSV file opened in Notepad. Here's a view of a website that has the final code displayed on the screen. As you can notice, each cell contains one piece of data. Also, the row color alternates between white and gray. At this point in the tutorial, your PHP code should be completed and look like this. On the right side, you'll see a CSV file and our XHTML and CSS table with the CSV contents. In conclusion, I hope you learned something from this tutorial and have a basic understanding of CSV files. There are other ways to read in CSV files, including a function called fgetCSV. You can visit www.php.net for more information on this method. If you have any comments or questions, please use the contact form on www.internaps.com. Thank you for watching. Here's a final look at the code to compare with your own.